Hello, my name is David Shaw. I'm here to introduce the LVT Go VBS, a low voltage EMC standards and robustness test system. I'm going to talk about what the key elements of the system are, how they fit together, and later I'll show you how to build the right LVT Go for your needs. First, the basics. Embedded control systems can suffer adverse effects as a result of power supply fluctuations. LVT Go simulates these fluctuations in the workshop or lab and so increases the range of testing possible during the development of vehicle electronics. The LVT Go helps you to validate control systems throughout the last half of the V development cycle, that is during hill, lab car or prototype testing. A complete LVT Go system comprises two elements, first the LV test GUI and second the LVT Go hardware, which comes in a number of form factors. The LV Test GUI is a Windows program that controls the LVT Go hardware. It allows you to specify and customize waveforms for delivery to a device under test. It supports test triggering via CAN message. It allows tests to be automated through the use of COM interfaces, and it can log delivered waveforms. So we've seen the unit software, but how do we connect the unit up? The LVT Go hardware is controlled via a link to a PC running LV test. In this instance, we're using our own adapter, COM dongle. Depending on the voltage and current requirements, the hardware draws power either directly from the mains, from a car battery, or in this case, an external lab supply. Of course, there are also connections to the device under test, in this case represented by an oscilloscope. On a basic level, that's it. However, advanced units can offer a means to introduce noise onto the output signal or connections to simulate switched ignition outputs. The system's firmware comes pre-programmed with many common waveform types that can be configured, randomized and repeated. What's more, there's onboard memory, so custom CSV waveforms can be loaded in for delivery to a device under test. So in summary, once you have one of these and one of these, you're good to go. So I mentioned how we can build the right LVT Go for you. As you can see, there are three form factors for the LVT Go hardware, small, mid-size and large. However, the contents of each form factor type are not the same. The form factor of LVT Go hardware you'll receive is related only to the functionality you need from it. To find out what your requirements are, we'll ask a number of things. These include your current and voltage requirements, the speed of voltage drop you need, which standards you're testing to if any, how you'd like your unit to be powered, if you'd like to introduce voltage ripple, and if you need to simulate ignition key outputs. There is currently LVT Go hardware up to 80 volts, making it suitable for many hybrid and electric vehicle testing applications, as well as more traditional petrol and diesel vehicles. Many thanks for watching. Next time we'll look into some of the more advanced functionality of the LVT Go.